We discussed the three fundamental principles of evidence-based medicine. We described the quality of evidence pyramid. Now, let's use the PICO framework to clarify clinical questions. There are generally two types of clinical questions that you can ask. There are background questions and there are foreground questions. The background questions are questions that are preliminary and basic in nature, such as physiology and pathophysiology. These are broad questions that are often asked by inexperienced clinicians rather than by expert clinicians. So typically medical students and pharmacy students will be asking these questions uh, a lot. And you know, of course, experienced clinicians can also ask background questions, for example, when they encounter a new disease state. Uh, but you know, inexperienced clinicians will ask more uh, background questions. Here are some examples. Let's say you are on rotation and you see a patient with type 2 diabetes. And whether you have learned type 2 diabetes or not, you may want to ask what is type 2 diabetes, especially if you haven't learned it before, and that would be a good starting point before you get to treatment. And even if you have learned type 2 diabetes, maybe you don't remember everything about it. So it's a valid question to ask. And then foreground questions, which are typically asked by experienced clinicians, could include, for example, in patients with new onset type 2 diabetes, which clinical features or test results predict the development of diabetes complications? Or in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus requiring drug therapy, does starting with metformin treatment yield improved diabetes control and reduce long-term complications better than other initial treatments? So now you see that these questions are not very broad and they're asking very specifically. There are five types of foreground questions. Pharmacists can be involved with any of these, but we will focus on therapy and harm in this class. When you ask questions about therapy, you specifically ask what medication therapy should you use in order to achieve clinical outcomes. And clinical outcomes are outcomes that are important to the patient. The most important outcome is always mortality. But it can also include things like symptom resolution to make patient comfortable, and of course cost, which is important to the patient. You can also ask questions about harm. This can include things like adverse effects to figure out a therapy that is well tolerated by the patient. There are also questions about differential diagnosis, diagnosis, and prognosis. Because we are focusing on therapy and harm, the questions that pertain to therapy and harm can actually follow the PICO framework. In order to clarify your question, you should break it into four parts. So the PICO stands for patient or population, intervention or exposure, competitor and outcome. In a therapy question, you should define the relevant uh, patient or population. You should identify the intervention group, which is typically the medication that's being uh, studied. You should also define a comparator, which is typically either a placebo group or it could be another alternative therapy, typically the standard of there. And of course, the outcome. We look at clinical outcome that would be important to the patient. In a question of harm, you should still define the relevant patients, but this time your instead of intervention group, you will have an exposure group. So those are the patients that are exposed to the harm. And then you will have a competitor group, which would be either your control group or an, uh, an alternative. And of course, you will look at the outcome. 